Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and we have issue 8 of the LEGO Nexo Knights magazine which is available from the 14th of September until the 18th of October. And as far as we know, it's still only available in the UK and Europe and it's 75p more than the last issue, costing £4.25 because you get a lot more gifts and some Ninjago trading cards, oddly. And if we have a flick through, you get a cool comic, a section on the Ninjago trading cards, fun puzzles and games, and the rest of the cool comic, and all of this is great fun for any Nexo Knights fan. Now the gifts include this awesome kid clay and training bot, which we will look at in a minute, and you also get a Ninjago trading card booster pack, and the limited edition NRG Coal. And we assume they are putting these in as extra promotion. And if we open up this booster, you get five more cards to go with the shiny coal. And we got the really cool Ultra Garmadon villain one with Zugu. And we also got the Lizaru. And to go with the villains, we got the Chondri Copter and Jaywalker 1 vehicles, which are all pretty cool. And these are all new to us. And inside on a double page spread, you get an introduction into what the trading card game's all about. And we've already seen this in the recent Ninjago magazine, but it's handy to see if you've only just learned about the game. And for the double sided poster, one side has all 180 Ninjago trading cards you need to collect, which is a sort of cross out guide with the card sections. And on the other side, you get this cool Nexo Knights poster with Jestro's Evil Mobile versus the Fortrex. And if you're not that keen on the Ninjago trading cards, this poster should cheer you up. Moving on, we have our favourite part of the magazine, the Lego Gift, and like we said earlier, it's Kid Clay and his training bot, and the magazine keeps getting better because we forgot to mention you also get a brand new Nexo Power, which is a cool extra bonus, so let's open this up and check out Kid Clay. Now in our opinion, it's great to get Clay in any form in these magazines, especially if you haven't got the Knight yet, and because he's the kid version, he's got small grey legs instead of his usual printed ones. But his grey printed torso is the same as the Fortrex version of Clay with emblem and shiny silver and blue adding to his armour with silver arms and dark blue hands and it's really nice they kept his normal torso. He also comes armed with a silver sword instead of his claymore but that's okay but he does get his silver shield with the new Nexo Power Minify Surprise which makes your opponent shrink and you can use this in game if you scan it and we like the trans dark blue colour of it to go with Clay's armour. And at the back the good torso printing continues and probably one of the best pieces to get is the reddish brown spiky clay hair piece. And not only is it cool because it's clay's hair but also because it's not available in any sets. So you could clip it on your regular size clay when he has his helmet off. So it's really great to get. And his dual head is Clay's usual one with normal face and angry one. And that completes Kid Clay. And overall we think he's a fans must have for the hairpiece and Nexo power. And to be honest the Kid Clay minifigure on its own was enough as a gift. But as something extra you also get this training bot build. And this bot is well equipped with a gunmetal sword and grey shield and you could use these as spare weapons for your own minifigures. And the bot's brick built red body has a simple dish as a base and it works. And they've added two black clips as hands to hold the weapons. And to protect the bot's head it's got a really nice shiny silver helmet. And underneath the bot has a dual silver head with happy and armoured bot faces. And this completes the bot's look. And overall to get the training bot is great with its weapons and helmet but we do feel maybe a rotating base plate would have added to play but it's still cool to get. And now Kid Clay can practice fighting this bot and you could give Clay the helmet for extra protection but it's up to you. On a final note issue 8 of the Lego Nexo Knights magazine is really fun to get like every issue but this one is extra special because you get a cool Kid Clay minifigure new Nexo Power and Training Bot to add to your LEGO collection. And along with all that you also get a magazine full of fun puzzles, a competition and comics. And for something extra the Ninjago Trading Card Booster Pack and the NRG Coal Card. And we don't mind getting these cards because we collect them but if you're just a Nexo Knights fan and don't like Ninjago it's not a gift you will want. And if you're a Ninjago fan and don't like Nexo Knights you might be a bit disappointed to see the trading cards in this magazine. So it's good Lego's promoting the cards but we do feel it's a bit over the top. And they should stick to putting the trading cards in the Ninjago magazine where they're most wanted. 
And before we finish in the back of the magazine, you get two cut-out door hangers with the Come In and Bring Some Food Classic Axel one and Do Not Disturb Chill Out Mode Activated Aaron one. And you could use these if you're busy building. And if you're wondering what's in the next issue, you get the cool monstrous toy, the Flame Bat, which sounds more like a DC vehicle, but it does come with a cool multi-stud shooter. But it is a shame you don't get a Lava Soldier 2, and again, they're adding in more Ninjago trading cards, which is good or bad depending on your preference. And this releases on the 19th of October. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK magazine review. Don't forget to check out our channel for more magazine reviews and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.